Right, so now that we've created the not found page, we also want to create a custom error page. If we have any errors in our application, then we want to create the error page. So what we want to do is in app folder again, we create a new file, which is named error.tsx. So this will be basically the same as your not found page. You can render what you want inside here. So let me first of all paste everything that I have in here. And there's going to be an issue, which as if I save, you can see uh, in the bottom, what we need to do is refresh the page and reload. So let me go in here and refresh. So we don't have the, the login page. So what it says here though, which is quite important, it says the error TSX here must be a client component. So what we need to do is we need to add the use client directive at the top of the file to resolve the issue. So basically what we are needing is this portion over here. So if we copy that and go in our code right at the top. So if if you remember when I talked about client and server components in Next.js 14, the default component is a server component, which means everything is rendered on the server and sent to the client as static HTML. So what that does is it means it's good for SEO because web crawlers can see what is being sent to the client. Whereas if you just use the normal React application, that would essentially create a bundle and then inject it on the client side. So it basically says, this is my bundle, let's put it into the browser and then the browser will render everything out. But on the server side, what happens is the web crawlers can't see what's in there. So therefore you rank lower on SEO. So that is why Next.js introduced it along with many of the reasons. But for this case, we want to essentially use the use client because there might be an error. So for example, we might be fetching data on the client side and therefore if that errors out, then we need somewhere to kind of send the user to. So this is why they have you on the client because everything might work on the server side, which is fine, but on the client side, something might not work. But there's, if you just read the documentation, then you can see why this is being used uh, but yeah, that's all that we need to do for the error itself. So now let me save this. And now you can see you gain a 200 response in here. So this terminal is quite handy because what it does is it tells you what the issue is and where, where you need to fix it basically. So 500 obviously is server error, which means it's not bad. And essentially if it's red, it's not good. If it's green, it is good. So 200 response means everything's working and we can check that on the browser. We're back on the login page. We need to go back to the home page like that. So that is the special keywords that we have. We have covered and there are more, but in this course, I'm just going to cover them too, which is the error and the not found. You have the layout as well and the page. So now what we want to do is if we click back to the login page, we want to create this page now. So we'll do that next.